Hi there, everyone. We are going to work on some portrait editing on this file. And so this is a file of, I'm assuming it's her real name, a woman by the name of Megan. And this file came with the Photoshop Cafe DVDs that I purchased uh, some years ago. So um, with portrait editing, first off, before we start, I just want to talk about portrait editing a little bit. Uh, when you have a close-up photograph like this, it definitely enhances the photo to do a little bit of editing. In the fashion industry, of course, they're doing all kinds of crazy things for editing, including changing the shape of eyes and, and uh, chins and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, for portraits, though, if you were a portrait photographer, uh, let me give you an example. Let's say that this was a wedding photo of the bride and groom. So if this was a close-up shot, you would definitely edit that. If this was the shot of the bride and groom at the front of the church and you're standing at the very back of it and you're taking that long shot, you wouldn't edit that one uh, for getting rid of blemishes and brightening eyes and things like that. So we're going to work with Megan. I'm going to try and go really slowly, step by step, this is going to be a long video, you guys, and I do want you to save often. And we're also going to save with different file names so that if something happens and your photop.com crashes in some way, at least you're going to have a partial uh, piece of the edit that you can hand in to me and you can start from that point onwards again. Normally, we would take about uh, two classes to go through this. So this is a long assignment, and I'm going to give you lots of time to work on it in case there are all kinds of technology glitches. Uh, I also want to make sure that if you're having trouble with it, that you please get in touch with me, either email me or phone me, because uh, this is going to be the last assignment for your digital processing unit. And so uh, it's worth a lot because it is a portrait edit and because there are a lot of steps to it. And so you want to do a really great job on it since it is going to form a good portion of that credit for you. So let me get started here. Uh, step number one, you already know this, open your document and create a duplicate layer. So I'm going to drag that down to my uh, duplicate layer. And now I've got uh, a second layer on it. The first thing we're going to do is work with the blemishes. So as you can see, she's got quite a few blemishes on her. I'm going to zoom into her face. And again, for zooming in, I'm just holding my Alt key and my mouse wheel. And then to move her across like that, I held down my space bar, just like I would do in Photoshop. So the tool for blemish removal is called the spot healing brush tool. And so you're going to go to that healing brush tool. It works a little bit differently here in uh, Photo P as it does in Photoshop. We have a little bit more control in Photoshop. And of course, if you were at school right now, we would be using a tablet for this, which just really gives us a ton of control instead of a mouse or for those of you that are doing this on a tablet and you're just tapping with your finger. The idea behind the spot healing brush tool is we tap, okay? And so when we heal a selection, first off, your brush needs to be bigger than the blemish. So I'm just going to use my square bracket key and I'm going to get my brush about that big. Uh, maybe I'll make it a tiny bit bigger because then you can see that it is bigger than some of these brushes, okay? And so when I go to heal this selection now, I am going to just click over top of the blemish. And it takes a few seconds, okay? And so I'm going to click on top of a blemish. And I'm going to click again on top of a blemish. Now there's a bit of a delay here too because I have screen recording software going on for this video. So what I want you to do is to go across and do uh, blemishes that you see on her forehead. And you can kind of just move around. You don't have to do freckles, okay? Uh, freckles are part of her actual skin. So just try and concentrate on what are the actual blemishes and pause my video, go ahead and do a whole bunch of that blemish removal. Uh, you can work on her forehead, then come down, work on her cheeks. She's got a few uh, blemishes on her cheeks as well. You may need to make your brush a little bit bigger like this one right here. I would make it a little bit bigger to get that. 
and you can see there's a bit of a delay and then go ahead and work down on her chin as well. So I'm going to pause my video and continue to fix blemishes. I want you to do the same. So go ahead and hit your pause. Okay, so I've almost got mine done. I hope that you're just tapping. I do want you to go and just clean up these eyebrows a little bit here as well, okay? Because we're going to do a little tweaking on these eyebrows. So get rid of some of these stray hairs that you can see, like this one underneath. Make sure that you are tapping, that you aren't dragging, okay? As you're cleaning these up a little bit and that your brush is the correct size for kind of cleaning up these stray hairs. Also make sure that this area above the eyebrow is quite clean, okay? So get rid of these blemishes that are above it so that when we tweak the eyebrow a little bit, we've got a nice clean spot to work on. Same way over here on this eyebrow. Make sure that you've got lots of this really cleaned up in this area. I'm going to pause again and continue working. I'm almost done on mine. Okay, so I've got my uh, image here cleaned up fairly well. Watch when I turn my eyeball off for this layer that I've been fixing. So there's the before and there is the after. At this point, it's really important. We're going to do our first save on this file and we're going to keep it a PSD file. So I want you to come up to your file and I want you to save it as a PSD. When you save it as a PSD, we're going to change the name so that we can start naming these files uh, with each of the different steps so that if something does crash or go wrong, you've got those steps to uh, to put uh, to be able to hand in to me. I'm just going to create a new folder here on my computer and I'm going to call this one Megan since that's who that is and I'm going to save it in here and instead of calling it Megan to edit, I'm going to change the name of this and call it Megan Blemish because we've just finished doing the blemishes, okay? So for each step, we can kind of save it as we go. And that has now saved to my computer, so. Now, before we go on to the next step, uh, there's a new tool, a new shortcut that I'm going to show you in Photoshop. That new tool is what we call a merge layer. And so we want to now take these two layers and merge them together so that we're starting off now with this newer finished version of Megan. We can do that by merging them together. However, that does destroy our layers. They're now going to be merged into one. So instead, there is something that we can do and it's where it merges those layers together and makes them into one layer, but then it puts that merged layer on top as its own separate layer. And I cannot find where that is in the menus in Photo P, but I can tell you that the shortcut that works in Photoshop is the exact same shortcut here. So a couple of things. One, I want you to make sure that you're sitting on this top layer. When you do this, hold down your Control, your Shift, and your Alt key. When you have all three of those held down, hit the E what that does is it's created a new layer. Then you can double click on that and I want you to label this blemishes. Done. Because now the blemishes are done and that is like a starting point for our new layer, okay? Blemishes are done. And now we're going to go on to our next step, which is going to be our eyebrows. I'm going to do that in a separate video uh, so that there can be several of these that you can watch and it's not great big one long video and also because that way I know that my recording software is fine and it's not trying to record a great big huge long video. So this is the end of part one and uh, you can continue with part two.